It's like hitting a coconut. Hollow heads, you know. Ka-thunk, ka-thunk, ka-thunk. Look where you're going, will you? 90 Day Wonder. Still got the original shine on those bars. Lieutenant Grayson to see the adjutant. He's not in, sir. The colonel said he'd see himself. Thank you. You can go right in, sir. Thank you. Lieutenant Grayson reports for duty, sir. That is, Lieutenant. Welcome to Camp Shelby. Thank you, sir. This is your first assignment since receiving your commission. Yes, sir. Well, Lieutenant, it's a rough one. The platoon you're taking over is just ready to start training, and as you may have noticed, our facilities are not all that they might be. We're short of officers, short of equipment, short of everything except trainees, and they're coming in by the carload. This is a brand new outfit, a new kind of outfit. No precedent for it except one battalion that was activated in Hawaii, and they haven't been tested yet. What do you think of the idea, Lieutenant? Well, sir, I'd like to make a request. What is it? I'd like your permission, sir, to put in for a transfer to the 36th Division. You see, sir, I'm from Texas. What has that got to do with it? Nothing, sir, except that the 36th is an old Texas National Guard outfit, and I've been in it ever since I got in the Army. That is, until they sent me to OCS. I never would have gone if I thought... Well, sir, I just took it for granted that I'd go back to the 36th. You're sure that's the only reason you have for wanting a transfer? Yes, sir. No objection to working with the kind of troops we have here? Because they're Japs? Oh, no, sir. Nothing like that at all. Now, let's get a couple of things straight, Lieutenant. First, there's not going to be any transfer. You're staying here. Have you got that? Yes, sir. Second, they're not Japs. They're Japanese-Americans, me say. Or as they call themselves, Buddha heads. All kinds of Buddha heads, Lieutenant. From Hawaii, Alaska, California, New York, Colorado, yes, and even some from Texas. They're all American citizens and they're all volunteers, remember that. And another thing, we officers are referred to as Howleys, not white men. Any questions? No, sir. Report to your company commander. Sergeant Major was sure it was orderly room. That'll be all, Lieutenant. Sorry to keep you waiting, Lieutenant. Here for Solari. That's right. That's our regimental slogan. Go for broke. It's pigeon English for shoot the works. Pull up a chair, Lieutenant. Right. I'll be with you in a minute. Come to my Tell me, sir, do you use live ammunition in the rifle range? The Japs the Jap, eh? All I know is they were put under armed guard in relocation centers last year. Maybe the Army just had some surplus barbed wire they wanted to use up. Was that it? The Army was facing an emergency at the start of the war, a possible invasion by Japanese troops. So all Japanese Americans were evacuated from the West Coast. There was no loyalty check, no screening, nothing. If there were any spies among them, I can assure you they're not in the 442. Every man in this outfit has been investigated, reinvestigated, and re-reinvestigated. I suggest you start getting acquainted. Your platoon sergeant's over in the supply room, O'Hara. O'Hara? That's right, Takashi O'Hara. Wait a minute. 
Come back here. How long have you been in the Army, soldier? Let me see now. Maybe I, I've been inside uh, two, three months. How long have you been inside, Lieutenant? Don't you know you're supposed to hold your salute till an officer returns it? Oh, sure. Sometimes forget. Sometimes forget to say sir, too, don't you? Sometimes. Well, don't forget it anymore. No, sir. That's your own uniform? Sir, that's the smallest size he got, a supply sergeant, sir. Well, roll those sleeves down. I hold salute, sir. Why are you wearing leggings with a Class A uniform? To keep my pants up, sir. Long like that. Well, get them cut down. Oh, yes, sir. Hey, day I'll go see the tailor, sir. You better say somebody today before I see you again. All right, man. All I want to see is backboards and elbows. Watch that stuff, huh? Get your money down, suckers. It all rides. Go for bro. Gee, break them up, break them up. New lieutenant outside. Must be the one for us. Oh, boy. Eight feet tall and mean like anything. Number one manini guy. Take it. Well, honeymoon's over. Mix me up. Only say outfit. How come how the officers? That's just to make us a little more miserable. First, they pick out the crummiest cap in the United States. Why'd you ever enlist? That's what I want to know. Why? Because a wise guy, college man like you, snowed me under with a lot of fancy talk. You guys from relocation centers. Okay, you probably got it better here. But me, I was on the outside. Iowa. A free man knocking off 500 bucks on one. 500 buck? No. 500 buck, yeah. Chick sexing. I can look at a Dale chick and tell you if it's a he or a she. <laughs> now, who'd want to know that except another chick? You pay for the poultry feed and you'd want to know. A he ain't no good at all when it grows up. Only the she's. How come chicken farmers no can find out themselves? Too bashful? Funny, man. Chick sexing is a science. It was developed in Japan and it's one field where Buddha head gets a break. Mean to say you never heard of it? I just got as far as the birds and the bees. These college guys are sharp, you know that? Four years at USC and he's a bona fide recognized fruit peddler. Yes, sir, a fruit peddler with an architect's degree. I could have got a job as an architect if I kept trying. Well, why didn't you? It's just my eyes. Couldn't handle all that close work. Yeah, eye trouble. That's what it was. All you need is corrective glasses to take the slant out of your eyes. Ah, chick, 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 Hey, Kutong, take it easy, huh? Ah, chick. Come on, get it down. Fuck in a half. Boy, oh boy. You are lucky, Kutong. You sure got packages like that? You and me both. You sent package. Yeah, hand me those cans, will you? What are you going to send? Don't I know I'm in Pacific? Uh-uh. Family in a relocation camp in Arizona. Arizona, USA. You think that child here is bad, brother. You can even get sold? Oh, sure. They've got a canteen loaded with stuff. Anything you want, if you can get there before they're sold out. Yes, sir, all the comforts of home. And only one block from the barracks to the toilets and showers. Barracks? Everybody all thrown together? We've got partitions, separate room for each family. My folks are lucky, only five of them since I left. Treat you like that? Hard to figure why a guy volunteer for the army. We have to do something, so we never get a deal like that again. We sure. We sure must put ahead it's good soldiers, good Americans. That's the idea. I hope it works. Sure it works. I read a lot of stuff in newspapers about the 442. Yeah, all we need now is casualty lists. Gee, that's a pretty girl. What's her name? Terry. Terry. Nice name. Your wife? Not yet. Where you with? This is a great time to be starting a family, isn't it? You could talk funny, guys. Boy, if I had a girl like that, they gotta draft me. No volunteer. No, sir. 
Draft me and drag me away. Okay, once more. Go for broke. Once more. That's all I ask. Natural. Seven. Let me see those dice. Here. Cut. At ease. Men, this is Lieutenant Grayson, our platoon leader. Pick up that money. Pick it up. Yes, sir. Donation for the company funds, Sergeant. Give it to Sergeant O'Hara. Can he do that? It's my money. I want that man's name, Sergeant. There's no talking after the command at ease. Yes, sir. This man, no dog tags, needs haircut, window unwashed, uniforms hanging wrong way, haircut, shave, bunk out of line, dog tag, window, beer can on shelf, dirty floor, dirty boots, haircut, window, bowl of milk on floor, bowl stolen from mess hall, brought cat into barracks, floor, boots, dog tag, haircut, dust on rafters, window, haircut, dog tags, boots, bunk out of line, litter on floor, boots. Forget the book, Sergeant. They're all on the list. You men will fall out for a speed hike at 8 o'clock tonight. Before that, I want this Hutman GI'd. Get them started on it right away, Sergeant. Floor scrubbed, rafters dusted, windows washed, boots shined, bunks made. I want those blankets stretched so tight that when you drop a quarter on them, it'll bounce. I'll be back twice a day from now on with a pair of white gloves and a quarter. You're a chicken expert. What do you make of him? I want to go back to my little grass shack Back in Kalkiku, Hawaii I want to be with all the connies and wahines that I knew long ago I can hear the old guitars playing Back, Asari! What did he say? I didn't hear anything, sir. Bakatari, what does that mean? Sorry, sir. I don't speak Japanese. Boots, dog tag, window, dust on rafters, floor, boots. Boots. Blankets not tight enough. Shirt unbuttoned, boots, window, floor. All right, up and over. Go back and try it again. I'm gonna wait right here until everybody makes it. teach you dirty tactics. I will now demonstrate a grip against which there is absolutely no defense. The sergeant will now try to get free. Well, sergeant, you want me to try, sir? Of course I want you to try. Very well, sir.
kiss of death. Yeah, the big brass figures were right. I can smell that salt air already. Take another sniff, will you, and see if it's a Pacific. Yeah, that's what I'm sweating now. You and me both. Nobody want to go Pacific but me. Well, I keep trying. Every time they ask for volunteers. Tommy, you have to speak perfect Japanese. It's for combat intelligence, interpreters. They don't want booty-head riflemen in the Pacific. Why? Look, Tommy, a million guys fighting an enemy that looks like us. What if a GI sniper spots you or me? He see uniform. Yeah, and probably figure we're spies. Sam, I tell you something. I don't like to talk about it, but I'm going to tell you. Pearl Harbor did a place they come. You can only read it. I can see it. Pretty soon I go volunteer for the 100th Battalion. Too young. And by the 442 come up, I volunteer again. Too small. Next time I stand on my toes a little bit. Okay, I'm in. They send us Europe. Sure, I go and fight. No better do I fight the ones who bombed the island. It's the same enemy, Tommy. Maybe for you. Pearl Harbor Day, two people visit friends near Honolulu. They've both been killed. My mother, Sam. My father. Malcolm! Tommy. You go. No mail for Tommy. Nagashuk Shuki. William J. Nishigoka. Leonard S. Uchigaki Uchi. Uchigaka Uchi. Harry. Ikigani. Joseph T. Kamakura. Sam W. Oyotomi. Oyotomi. Tomatsu. Yushizaki. Totoshi. Shimabukuro Tenshugi. Shima. Shimabukuro Tenshugi. Shima George W. Thanks. Fujimoto. Thomas H. Scuttlebutt on where the scow has taken us? I was just going to ask you, Lieutenant. so sure we're going to England. Because that's where the line formed for the invasion of France. And it's coming off any day now. That's us. Shock troops. Just in time. They used up the 100 battalion at Casino. But anyway, it won't be the Pacific. How do you know? You ever hear the Panama Canal? Hey, Sam, what you think? Maybe so, huh? Well, if it's the Pacific, we've been sailing three days in the wrong direction. The navigator don't know. Nobody knows. Drives you nuts. Oh, I'll get it. Thank you, Lieutenant. For 20 years, the Italian people have been fed on bunk. Their propagandists declared that all of our people look upon Italians with contempt, regarding them as a race of hand organ men and banana peddlers. We know that such statements are lies. 
Racial prejudice is abhorrent to our American concept of democracy. Naples, with its old world history, majestic Vesuvius, the castle of St. Elmo, the famous churches, the magnificent harbor, second to none in all the world. These and many other historic sites are of interest to the soldier. Take advantage of this opportunity. See as much as you can. You've got a great chance to do now. Major expenses paid, what will cost you a lot of your own money after the war. You'll want to poke around in quaint, out-of-the-way places. And the only way to do that is to walk. Be sure to allow plenty of time in Naples so you can take it all in at a nice, leisurely pace. Start your promenade at the harbor. The Italian practice is to have a siesta hour sometime between 1 and 4 o'clock in the afternoon. If this custom remains in vogue during occupational period, you will save time and patience by confining your shopping to other hours. Continuing our tour of picturesque Italy, we come to the Via Casalina, which leads directly to Rome. The districts around Rome are full of places of historical interest, and transportation is excellent. Take 10. Everybody writes what the food I did. got an extra top string, have you? I don't think so. Where are you going? Same place as you, Paisan. Haven't you heard? We've been attached to the 442. One big happy family. No kidding. Right on, boy. Here, top string. Fuck it, daddy. What was that? I said very sorry. Sorry, sir. Within easy reach of Rome are the medieval towns of Tuscany, sleepy little villages scarcely touched by the march of civilization. Take 10! Ah, buongiorno, signorina. Guarda un po', un americano che parla l'italiano, è meraviglioso. Tu parli l'italiano, sì? Mm, non capisci. Oh, non capisci l'italiano? No, but I'd like to learn. Ah, che alto. The door open? Cosa dice? The door, the door. It's open, lieutenant. Grazie, signorina. The lady's gonna mend this for me. Call me when the word comes down to move out. Yes, sir. The eyes of taxis are upon you. All the live on day. You know, I got a hunch you're coming into a bottle of vino. Maybe. Yeah, I just got a feeling the lieutenant's gonna take care of us. Yeah. Break. 
Jake's over. Let's go! All right, on your feet. I forgot to tell him we're moving out. Holy mackerel. What'll I do? Close it up. Vado a mettere in ordine, eh? Ancora vino, darling? Oh, sì, signorina. Per? Uh, per uh, favore? Eh, bravo! Mm, che scolaro! Vedrai che imparerai presto, ne sono sicuro. Il suo vino, signore. Grazie, signorina. Salute. E felicità. Lo conosci forse il tuo amico? Come again, per favore? Amico? Friend? No, I don't know. I'm your friend, huh? Sì. Smith. John Smith. Capitano John Smith. Glad to meet you, sir. Che bravo ragazzo. Me lo ricorderò sempre. Era tanto generoso. Vedi questi? John Smith. John Smith? Don't tell me where you got that good contact, River. Let me guess. Cosa dice? How about some Ovino, huh? Con piacere, darling. <laughs> That's my old outfit. Where did you get this? Who gave it to you? John Smith? John Smith, huh? Is he still around here? When did you see him last? Cosa dice? Oh, Cosa dice. I gotta find somebody been talking. I'll be right back. Joe! Joe! 